What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Now, before we get started, do me and yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out each and every Wednesday. Any other day you get a video from me, consider it a bonus. And now, here's this week's episode of Ask a Real DJ. Oh man, as you can see, I'm outside right now. And just pretty much enjoying, well, this weather, even though it's raining, it's Memorial Day week, and I figured why not jump on my terrace, do a video, while I can actually enjoy the weather and socially distance myself. So I figured why not come out here and talk about, you know what, let's put it this way. You've heard of the Ten Commandments. You've heard of Biggie Small's Ten Crack Commandments. So I want to talk to you about the Ten Commandments for DJs. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into it. Hmm, you know, I've been in this game for years. It's made me an animal, because there's rules to this is. So I wrote me a manual, a step-by-step -step booklet for you to get. Well, let's talk about what you, you're you going to get. Huh. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's talk about the first thing, practice. Hmm. Of these 10 commandments, practice is a must. And while many say practice makes perfect, I'll say this, practice creates greatness because I've never met the perfect DJ, but I've met and worked with some of the greatest DJs in the game today. See, if you want people to recognize your greatness as a DJ, then practice is without a shadow of a doubt, a must. You know, DJ Cubit is the greatest scratcher in the game today because, well, you know what, today and forever because he practiced his scratches every single day. In his words, I don't find myself rusty or off my game because each and every day I practice. I myself personally put in 15 hours a week of practice and it's not just the standard cutting and scratching and mixing, but I even do things like announcements of all things you know, pronunciating the names of people, making sure I got them right so when I'm doing these weddings, I can pronounce their names right during my MC duties of being a DJ, okay? See, excellence is proven by example, and the best way to achieve excellence in being a DJ is by making sure you practice. I can't stress it enough, this is the number one commandment of the Ten Commandments for DJs. Practice. Okay? Now, let's talk about the second one. Number two. Knowing your lane. Know your lane. Period. Too many DJs trying to be something they are not. I've watched so many called great DJs, top level DJs, get exposed because, well, they try to be something they're not trying to impress the crowd so much that they forget to know their lane. All right, sometimes a DJ specializes in a certain style or a certain genre. And when stepping out of their comfort, comfort zone, they wind up hurting themselves. I've seen it too many times. I applaud the effort, but guess what? The crowd is not so forgiving. They're not gonna be that way for you. One time, I'll give you a prime example. I watched the DJ come to this barbecue I was at, had the six setups and all the stuff. He started playing his music and lost the crowd out the box because he didn't know his audience. And he couldn't even win them over with, you know what, line dances. That's when you know you got a problem. Of all things. See, the problem was that he was a top 40 DJ trying to play for a pro hip-hop and R&B crowd and it showed in his very first song selection. He claimed he was this open format DJ, but when he played Shut Up and Dance 
to a crowd looking for classic party rockers such as Be Faithful and, you know, Before I Let Go by Amazing Frankie Beverly, he exposed himself right then and there for getting a DJ gig that should have went to some other DJ who would have known how to play for the people, okay? I'm not against you making your money, but guess what? People pay good money for them to get their money's worth. No, you're lame. Hashtag, no, you're lame. All right? That was the first part of this series, The Ten Commandments for DJs. I'll see you next week for another great episode of Ask a Real DJ. As we'll go into Commandments 3 and 4 of the Ten Commandments for DJs. All right? It's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K. I'm up. I'm out of here. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Salute. Deuces.